Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today's Tuesday, uh, June 27th, and we are talking right now with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com about a bunch of games that go uh, tomorrow on Wednesday in MLB. And right now we're going to take a look at the Mets and the Marlins. This is an interesting one because of the pitching matchup, I think. It's Mets against Locke. And Mats, of course, for the Mets, uh, came back off of the disabled list. And, you know, he's he's gotten some okay results. But to my eye, he's not getting uh, enough strikeouts. And I'm thinking he might have some trouble ahead. Now, the Marlins have been kind of oddly slumping recently, although their year-long numbers um, are good against lefties, are excellent against lefties. So uh, not quite clear what to expect from the Marlins here. My sense is, though, that uh, they're going to get to Mats. And then, of course, on the other side, Locke uh, has been getting absolutely crushed and a few more uh, games like that and uh, he's going to be out of the starting rotation very likely uh, for the Marlins so maybe a shot with the over might be the best way to go here big question mark is uh, how will Mats do against the Marlins and my sense is that the Marlins are probably more likely than not uh, get to him what do you think Joe Gavazzi what's your take on uh, the Marlins and the Mets on Wednesday I'm going to use one of the terms that you like mm -hmm. to use here in this game analysis and I've got locked down as an auto really fade. Because this guy could not stay as the fifth starter for the Pittsburgh Pirates in recent years, and he will soon be out the door. Marlins have lost all five of his starts. He has an ERA of over five, both for the year and both at home as well. Miami, as you said, was on an uptick of late in their last six games going into Tuesday action. They've only scored a total of 15 runs, 2.5 runs per game. Mets beginning to get healthier. They swept three games in San Francisco. Maybe that's not much, but it certainly turned around some negative momentum. I like Mets in this spot here. I do think that the Mets overall will begin to return to the 500 mark as their starting pitchers slowly become healthy. Mets is the first of those. Three starts, two on the road with an ERA under three and a whip approaching one. I think he's by far the better pitcher over Locke. And in a game in which the Mets, I figured to be a small road favorite, I like the New Yorkers. All right, so you, in general, you can you expect Mats to, uh, to do well uh, in the upcoming weeks now that he's uh, getting some starts under his belt. I do, that's exactly okay. right. Okay, uh, Joe Gavazzi from JoeGavazziSports.com, like in the Mets. Putting Locke in there in the category of autofade, I certainly can't disagree with that. Joe Gavazzi, give a well-deserved well -deserved plug for your website. We are talking about Joe Gavazzi Sports, and most every week I write an article. This week's article refers to the home and sell numbers, which were successful when I, pit, when I put them out in May. Now, in May, we used the year-to-date buy-sell numbers. Now I've isolated just the home numbers. And if you read that article, you'll find out which are the three teams who are going to do better at home in the upcoming weeks and which are the three teams who are not going to prosper as they have at home. Interesting article, which can prove profitable to you at JoeGavazziSports.com. Sounds good. I'll go check it out myself. Thanks, Joe. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.